Hello everyone. Let's learn about lac operon. It's a part of gene regulation in prokaryotes, a section of molecular biology. This is E. coli and it's happy to see this milk. So let us see what lac operon has in store for us. So what is gene regulation? In very simple terms, Gene regulation is the ability of an organism to control or regulate what proteins it makes from its DNA, how much of the proteins does it make and when does it make. Now we come to operon. In genetics, an operon is a functioning unit of DNA containing a cluster of genes under the control of a single promoter. So previously we have been seeing different regulatory genes and structural genes and in that we have already seen the promoter and operator regions. So now it's time to understand about operon. In genetics an operon is a functioning unit of DNA containing a cluster of genes which are in the control of a single promoter. Remember that a promoter is a region to which RNA polymerase binds. P for promoter and P for polymerase. Operons are seen in prokaryotes, bacteriophages and some eukaryotes also. Now let us look at the details of an operon. Operons are groups of genes and these include the promoter region. Promoter is the region or sequence which enables transcription. It is recognized by the RNA polymerase. Operator is a sequence to which the regulator binds. Structural genes are genes that are co-regulated by operon and they form the proteins. The regulatory genes are genes that code for regulatory proteins. So they code for the regulatory proteins. So this is the basic structure of operon which consists of a promoter sequence, an operator sequence, structural genes and regulatory genes. These are the minimum four components of an operon. From here on now we will discuss in detail about the lac operon. After having understood the concept of promoter, operator, regulator gene, structural gene and operon, now it's time to look into the details of lac operon. The lac here stands for lactose and operon means a group. So, lactose is the sh sugar that is found in milk. It is a disaccharide and this sugar is utilized by the bacteria E. coli as the E. coli is one of the microflora of our intestine. So, whatever we eat, the E. coli also eats and so, it's although it's preferred molecule is glucose but whenever glucose is not available it can use lactose. So this is the most basic model of prokaryotic gene, gene regulation which was first discovered by Jacob and Monod and it is the first understood gene regulation mechanism. So let us see Lac operon is an operon or a group of genes with a single promoter that encodes genes for the transport and metabolism of lactose in E. coli and other bacteria. So this is the definition of lac operon. Let us proceed. Let us understand the structure of the lac operon. The lac operon consists of lac Z gene, lac Y gene, lac A gene. These are the structural genes. The lac Z gene forms the enzyme beta galactosidase. Beta galactosidase hydrolyzes lactose to glucose 
plus galactose lac white gene is makes the permease enzyme which is a lactose transporter and it allows the entry of lactose into the bacterial cell lac a gene forms the trans acetylase after transcription and translation it adds acetyl group to the lactose the significance of this acetylation is still not clear the structural gene lies just behind the operator which means the operator is just ahead of the structural gene and just ahead of the operator lies the promoter followed by the cap gene now this cap region plus promoter region plus operator region these three form the regulatory sequence or the control sequence this control sequence is part of the regulatory gene the rna polymerase attaches to the promoter and the lac i gene is the uh, a second part of the regulatory sequence so the lac i gene forms the regulatory gene after transcription and this leads to formation of the repressor molecule the repressor molecule goes and binds to the operator once it binds to the operator the rna polymerase cannot move ahead the lac i gene is constitutive so the repressor protein is con continuously made therefore the lac i gene is a housekeeping gene which is continuously synthesized so this is the structure of lac operon this is the e coli bacteria and it has three genes in the lac operon lac y codes for permease lac z codes for galactosidase lac a codes for trans acetylase all these three enzymes are required by the bacteria when there is lactose in its environment and the bacteria uses lactose it metabolizes this molecule to produce energy now that we have understood the concept of operon let us look at the details of lac operon so how is the lac operon regulated let us see lac operon is regulated by the following mechanisms first is the negative regulation this is done by the lac repressor when lactose is absent and glucose is present so negative regulation is by lac repressor in absence of lactose and presence of glucose the second type of regulation is the positive regulation this is by induction of expression and it is in presence of lactose and absence of glucose the third kind of regulation is by the catabolite repression and this is in presence of both glucose and lactose so there are three conditions that we will see that is when glucose only glucose is present when only lactose is present and when both glucose and lactose are present what kind of regulation takes place so let us continue with that negative regulation of gene expression let us try to understand this way of regulation in lac operon operon is repressed or it is switched off as explained by this switch this happens when there is sufficient glucose in the environment and there is no lactose so the bacteria uses glucose if available as a fuel in preference to any other sugar this is the structural gene and the structural gene is composed of the lac z gene the lac y gene and the lac a gene the products of these genes have already been discussed ahead of the structural gene lies the operator and operator is that region of the gene to which the repressor binds promoter is that region to which the rna polymerase binds 
and there is a new uh, sequence or new region in the lac operon that is the cap site cap site is that region to which the cap protein binds the details of the cap protein and its significance will be discussed later so the cap site the promoter site and the operator site the three together form the control sequence the lac i gene is the part of the regulator gene so the regulator gene the regulator sequence and the structural genes the lac i gene is constitutive so the repressor protein is continuously made now the lac i gene is transcribed to mrna the mrna is further translated to the protein that is the repressor protein this repressor protein you know go and binds to the operator once the repressor binds to the operator the rna polymerase is unable to move forward so in presence of sufficient glucose the repressor protein binds to the operator so the structural gene transcription is prevented these genes are not translated or transcribed so no mrna is formed and no proteins are formed this is the negative regulation where the operon is switched off so this is the complete lac operon which consists of structural gene control sequence and regulator gene and because of the repressor protein the lac operon is switched off so there is sufficient glucose and therefore there is no need for the lac operon to be turned on and this is negative regulation let us try to understand the positive re regulation of lac operon when the operon is induced on in presence of lactose and glucose is absent in this condition a small amount of lactose is converted to allolactose which acts as an inducer we will look at its role later on what happens here is that the structural gene the control gene and the regulator gene have different roles in presence of lactose let us look into that the lac i gene is the gene that undergoes transcription it makes mrna and this mrna undergoes translation to form the repressor protein now in presence of lactose there is some allolactose formed this allolactose is actually an inducer it acts as an inducer and it has high affinity for the repressor protein so the repressor inducer complex is formed once this repressor inducer complex is formed the repressor protein is not free so it cannot go and bind to the operator and because of this the operon is turned on the rna polymerase can now bind to the promoter another thing that is happening in presence of lactose and low glucose is that there is low at there is low cyclic amp sorry there is a low atp so adenylyl cyclase is activated and adenylyl cyclase converts atp to cyclic amp the cyclic amp binds with a protein called cap protein that is catabolite activator protein and they form the camp cap complex this cap complex goes and binds to the cap site and because of this binding of the uh, binding of this complex now the rna polymerase can act in more efficient way and it leads to transcription forming a polycystronic mrna and mrna that is giving rise to three different proteins which can metabolize bolize lactose let us look at the third kind of lac operon control and in this type the operon remains uninduced because 
both glucose and lactose are available to the bacteria in this case the lac operon remains uninduced the transcription is negligible so let us see what happens we know that the lac i gene is the constitutive gene so it is always active and therefore it gets transcribed to an mrna the mrna is translated and the repressor protein is formed since there is lactose in the environment some of the lactose will be converted to the allolactose and this allolactose is an inducer molecule which has strong affinity for the repressor protein so the repressor inducer will form an complex and this will therefore lead to inactivation of the repressor so repressor will be inactive and therefore it will not be available to bind to the operator now the other thing is that is happening is uh, in presence of glucose is that the adenylyl cyclase enzyme is not available so cyclic amp will decrease in concentration it will not be forming in sufficient concentration to bind to the cap so the cap will remain unbound and when the cap is unbound to the cyclic amp it cannot go and bind to the cap site and this phenomenon is known as catabolite repression now because of this catabolite repression which is occurring the polymerase will definitely bind to the promoter but its efficiency will reduce so due to low efficiency the structural genes that is the lac z lac y and lac a genes will transcribe at very low or basal levels of mrna so low protein expression will be there and therefore lactose will not be utilized so consequently the three structural genes of the operon are expressed only at very basal levels and so the lactose remains poorly utilized so this was the third type thank you please like comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching